So if you are an older person, you are a thin person, you are a dry person, a very light person, and you live in a windy city, if you live in a windy or dry environment, it's only going to aggravate your older person diseases, so to speak, or oh, condition. Man. You actually need more humidity. Oh, you can go to if South India, I guess. Uh-huh. So think about also <laughs> opposites cure the... So if you're Vata, cough environment will cure you, so to speak. Not that you're okay, going to be cured. So then we can food. suggest them people also, they, because many times people ask us that, where should we live? That is a question people ask. So then we can say them that you can live here. I mean, depending on other people of the family, of course. But if he's he or she's alone, then they can maybe. Yes. Some people can withstand those kinds of environments because of, if, they, if you have a kapha body, you can... Actually, the kapha body can withstand a lot, a lot of these conditions, windy, dry, even heat, because it takes a long time to raise the heat in the kapha body. So the one that's going to suffer the less is going to be a kapha body. The person who has less amount of diseases is a kapha individual, a kapha, you know, encasement, so to speak. And just because you have a kapha body does not mean that you do not have a pitta emotional state of mind rajasic or, or however you want to name it yes, in terms yes, of the, rajas. The rajas. Mm -hmm. so because sometimes you see kapha person oh you're gonna think oh my god they have no no mars influence no it so we're talking simply about the body so we're at ayurveda kind of that's why i love jyotisha because it you learn so many more things but when you Ayur, ayurveda is part of the Athar, Atharva veda the book uh huh. And then, and, but then the Jyotisha is a Vedanga. It's a part of the Veda. It's a limb of the Veda, and it's the eyes, right? It's the eyes of the Vedas, which is a little bit higher level, because now you're not just looking at the body. You're looking at, you know, karma and the four types of, you know, your prarabdha karma. Yeah. And so, it's anyways. I didn't get into that subject, but we're keeping it at Ayurveda right now. <laughs> This is like uh, Saturn's influence is more prominent. Then people may say, though, Mars is not very prominent. It may appear like that. That's what you said. That's correct. Yes. And depending on what, what bhava, what house your planets are in, and then, and then even transits, gochara. Oh, okay. And then, of course, then, then you bring in dasha. You're, you that, know, what point is not, you... Nothing is spared. It's just like a normal... <laughs> Exactly. That's why all of these scientists are so hard and they're not really um, considered as hard scientists because there's so, as you know, there's so many factors. You have yeah. the nakshatra, you have the gochara, the transits. You have uh, just too much, but this is so, this is just a general indication. Yeah, in fact, today uh, afternoon only there was a lady who had messaged me that, oh, she was into medical science. Mm. And she used to, uh, she said to me that, oh, I used to think medical science is very difficult and astrology is very easy. And then now when I come to medical astrology, like, oh my God, what's going on? Medical science was <laughs> much better. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell her, welcome to astrology. <laughs> Yeah, that I, I would need another lifetime to to really get and into. That is it. when only she has seen one type of astrology, and there are so many types. <laughs> That's yeah. So Vata, in terms of your body, the role. Remember that kapha lubricates. It's the the joints, the shleta. I mean, there's like the subcategories of each uh, dosha. And so pitta, it transforms everything having to do with pitta, like your speech will transform someone else. The, the, the sharpness of your speech and the person being able to understand it because that's fire is pitta. So vata is air. So when you think about air, vata in your body, it, it governs circulation. So it moves things around. Okay, so I put this little pictorial here of these guys moving things around. So every time you think about um, of, uh, of vata think about what circulates so it is not the blood but it pushes the blood to circulate okay so it's not the actual thought but it pushes the thought around and so this is how you need to start thinking about some of these elements 
And then what is the seat of vata? The vata, the wind, the vayu resides in your large intestine. It pushes, you know, at first it dries out the feces and then it, and then it pushes it out. Okay, so when you have apana vayu, uh, that pushes it down. Udana vayu, up. The prana pan saman vaya. <laughs> Correct. Okay. So, so when you think of the large intestine, uh, and think about, so this is, so we can continue with, oh, okay, so now it's a whole another thing, but this is one section of, of this entire little portion of that. Yeah. So it's only 30 minutes, I guess. Is something else also, if you want, you can share. <laughs> okay. So here. Okay. So we were talking about um, Apana, Apana Vayu and... So what 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 else would you like to? You were saying go? something about uh, six stages of a disease or something like that. Oh yes, that's true. Okay, so the six stages of disease. I don't have a slide share for that, but so now that you understand the now that you understand the doshas here, then let me explain to you. Okay, so 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 now, so now that so we talked about the doshas being all in perfect balance at the moment of your birth. At the moment of okay. conception, you are giving a particular doshic constitution, and that's what that whole assessment is of, oh, I'm a pitta, I'm a kapha, or I'm 50% pitta, I'm, you know, 80% kapha. But so when you, when you realize what you are, now let's say you're a parent. Let's say Baba Jeet is going to have a baby in a couple of years. I don't know, I'm just making things up. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, okay. <laughs> so, so the important thing as a parent, can you imagine having this kind of information? You look at your baby, you know the chart, and you understand Ayurveda. What are you looking for? All right. So now, so understanding the the six stages of disease are very important. And what are the indicators? So this is a little bit of more more in getting into pathology. So as a as a dosha. Remember, we talked about the seats. Kapha resides in the stomach, pitta resides in the small intestine, and then vata resides in the large intestine. Now, when, when your life gets out of balance, I'm sorry, but we all do. I 